And this is gonna be another technique on how to create photocopy effect. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this image. I'm gonna crop it a little bit and the size of the image is, the width is 4,300 by 2,800. I'm gonna press Control J to duplicate and I'm gonna right click on the layer, convert smart object. Let's go to filter, blur. And let's select the motion blur and you can increase or decrease the blur. I'm gonna go with 300 ish angle minus eight but you can experiment with it click ok and i'm gonna press ctrl j to duplicate this and i'm gonna select the top layer and move it here change the blend mode i'm gonna go with darken and i'm gonna double click here on the motion blur and increase the blur a little bit more i'm gonna go with somewhere around thousand click ok i'm gonna uncheck it right now i'm gonna go to the bottom layer and select the smart filter here Make sure to select the black, select the brush tool and I'm going to paint over so it's going to clear these areas and I'm going to activate the top layer and I'm going to select the layer and I'm going to add a mask and I'm also going to try to erase some of the areas, something like that. You also can create another copy, press Ctrl J just to see what happens and eventually move and reposition or you can change the blend mode. For example, I can try it out with color burn and decrease the opacity. So instead to be soft, I'm gonna add a little bit more contrast. Now press and hold shift, select all, right click, convert smart object. And here we're gonna start downgrading the quality of the image. So I'm gonna go to the filter, filter gallery, Let's go to the texture and select the grain. I increase the grain intensity all the way to 90 and the contrast 74. Click OK. And I'm going to go to the adjustments, scroll down, activate the threshold and check this out. It's going to create this ghost effect. I'm also going to select the layer with the model. Press and hold all to drag it up above the threshold layer. And I'm going to double click on the filter gallery. Click on the plus here and go to sketches, activate the torn edges, and I'm gonna start customizing it. So with the smoothness, you can increase the contrast. I'm gonna go up with the contrast, and here we got the contrast separately. I like it, click OK. So this one looks like this, and the original one, a little bit more grainy. So I'm gonna activate to decrease the opacity. I might wanna go around 50%, so if you zoom in, if you uncheck it, for example, the top layer is gonna show this dotted special effect, which looks like sand, and if I gonna activate the top layer, it is going to combine it with these torn edges. So yeah, you can customize it, increase, decrease, and see what happens. I'm also gonna drag and drop a texture, and change up the blend mode to screen. Oh wow. And of course, if you wanna change up the motion blur, you can always double click on the smart object layer and, and make more customizations here. And this I make this ghost special effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.